Hello, YouTube. Thought I'd do a quick video here. I get asked um, about Surecom uh, cables. Can you make me a cable for my Surecom repeater for this type of handheld or this type of mobile radio? And a lot of times, Surecom already has that cable. But today, I'm going to show you how to try to look this up. Um, I know it can be kind of confusing here. And... It can be uh, kind of a, a, a you know task that you can easily get confused on. Now, for those of you that don't know, Surecom repeaters, some of their models are a simplex repeater. And what that means is it records all voice activity and plays it back. So for an example, if I say hi, you're gonna hear that twice. You're gonna hear me say hi, and then you're going to hear it uh, play back what I just said. So that's the only kind of downside. It repeats itself. It's like a parrot, as they some of some people call it. Now the advantage of this is you don't need a duplexer. You don't need two radios. You can use one radio, whether it's a handheld, whether it's a mobile. That's kind of the advantage of a simplex. You can quickly just throw it up, and, and now you got a repeater. Um, but like I said, it, it, it does repeat um, what is said. So, Surecom is actually located in Hong Kong. So, when you go to do this, on their website, they do have a link on top of here that, um, let me get my mouse here. That's find a dealer. So you might be able to find a dealer in the USA that might be a lot easier. Okay. Also, too, when you do find the cable that you think you need, I would highly recommend you email them and saying, hey, I'm thinking of getting this Surecom repeater model number, blah, blah, blah. This cable part number, blah, blah, blah. Will they work? It, is this the right cable I need for this repeater? And they will be able to tell you whether you email the Hong Kong store or you find a dealer, they should be able to tell you the answer. I'm going to kind of show you on the website how to, to try to you know help you kind of find what you need. Okay. So when you're at the main page here, you're going to go to product. And you're going to go to repeater controller. Now, I there's different versions of their repeater controller. I'm not going to go into detail. You can decide, you know, there, here's one here. Here's another one. But notice the model number. Uh, SR112, SR328. Keep that in mind, okay? And there, I'm not going to go into detail on uh, what what's the difference between them. So... Once you figure out what model you want, let's say for an example, you decide you want the SR112 model. So remember that. Now we're gonna go to the search bar up here and we're gonna type in repeater controller cable. And we're gonna hit search. Okay, so now you're gonna get a whole bunch of different cables and we're going to try to match up what we need. We're going to go to view all. And what we're going to do here is we're going to look at these cables and decide, am I going to use a handheld? Am I going to use a mobile? There's even a DIY cable right here that's got screw terminals. If you got something totally different. It, you know, it comes with this cable of screw terminals. See it right there? It's kind of a picture of it. So you can hook it up. Your, you know, you can wire it up yourself. Um, so let's, for an example, say that we're going to use it with a handheld. Well, I see here there's two different. There's there's this type right here, and there's the K head right here. So I'm going to click on this K head, I call it, and let's see what models. The reason why I'm picking this is because on a handheld, if you look at a handheld, there's going to be a little rubber flap you can open up. There's a microphone and a headphone jack, and that's why I'm picking that. Now, if I was to do a mobile radio, 
I would need to find the RJ45 uh, one connector, which may be, right, okay, well, there's a, there's a few of them, but here's one right here, RJ45, see the picture, looks like a network cable, but for now, we're going to pick, well, I guess we can pick, we can pick one of these two, it doesn't really matter at this point, it just is just an example to kind of give you an idea. So let's pick, let's let's do the handheld first. Let's say you have a handheld. We're going to pick this, excuse me, we're going to pick this plug right here because we want to hook this repeater up to a handheld. So we're going to click on that, okay? Now this is for Kenwood. Let's see what models this will work for. Now you got to pay really close attention here. First thing you got to notice is what model of Surecom is it going to work with? Well, we want the SR12, so that's we're off to a good start. Right there's that model number. So now we got to figure out, okay, what radio do we have? Do we have a ball fang? Okay. Or do we have a uh, Wusan? I don't know if I'm even saying that right. Um, well, what type of radio do we have? Do we have a TYT? See all the different models here? So once you figure out, let's say we have a ball fang, and let's say we have a UV5R, because that's the one that I have. So look under ball fang. Do we see a UV5R? Up oh, right there. So according to this information, this cable shall work with my UV5R using the SR112 model. So... I need to get this cable, and it looks like the part number for this cable is right here. 46-K is the SKU number. So if I want to double check, I would click on Contact Us right here. I would say, hey, I just want to make sure that, because, you know, maybe their website's got a misprint or something. I just want to make sure that this cable is going to work. I'm going to buy the SR112 model Surecom repeater, and my radio is a Balfang UV5R. Will this model of cable, 46-K, will it work with a... SR112 repeater controller, simplex repeater controller. So I would double check by emailing them too. Even though it does say on the website it should work, but sometimes they, there's misprints and, you know. And I don't know if their model number on the website will match. If you go to find a dealer and you go to another dealer's website, I don't know if the model number that's on their website will be the same on their website. So kind of keep that in mind. But that's how you find what cable you need is by you gotta look at the plug. So let's go back. Let's do a mobile one now. Same way. We're gonna it's the same procedure. We're gonna go back. Now we got a mobile's gonna have an RJ45 connector on it. That looks like a network connector, like a CAD5 cable. So let's scroll down here, and they have all kinds of different adapters here. But, okay, well, there's there's right here. There's a whole bunch of them. Right here's one. Right here's another one. Now, they're all different model numbers. So we got to be careful on which one. Here's another one here, another one here, another one here, and another one there. So we're going to click on one of these because it doesn't say on the little... Um, image here what model that this cable is for so we're going to click on this one we're going to see okay this tells you right here some of the what the model is we're going to scroll down now this right here says that it fits only this model right here now i and it doesn't say this is why you probably should email them to double check this here's a good example it says it fits this model of radio but it doesn't say what model of Surecom Simplex Repeater this will work for. Uh, so 
Yeah, so there's a good example. Again, the part number's right here, 48-550. Let's go click on another one. So let's let's see if we can find another one here. Let's click on this one. See what this one says. Again, this is for a mobile because it's got the RJ45 connector. Okay, this one does say it fits these radials, but it does, but it according to this, it does not fit my Surecom SR112. So I don't. This ain't the cable that I want. So we we definitely got to go back and find other cable that um, it, this may work with. So it's kind of a tedious process here. And there might be a fast way of doing this. I, I, I don't know. But this is the way it seems like how I've done it. You know, we clicked on another one. This is, okay, this is for an ICOM radio. Let's see. And let's see here. It does, <laughs> again, another one here. It does say what radios this fits, but it does not say what Shurcom repeater you can use this for, unless there's a pay, unless it's in one of these images. I don't think it is. So again, another one that you'd have to double check with the with by contacting them and make sure it fits your SR112 number of repeater. But you kind of get the idea how to do this. So it's kind of tedious. Like I said, there might be a faster way. But this is the way that it seems to work, I guess, for the most part. Um, let's click on another one. Let's click on this one. So let's see what this one says. All right. Now this one is for the uh, TYT. Uh, and here's the mobile radios it fits right there. Right here. Does not say what type I, I and I don't want to assume it's going to work with S, SR112. You know, so you'd have to double check that. Um, but you kind of get how you do this. It's kind of a you got to look at the connector. It's an R, is it an RJ45 or is it a K head or like I said for like a, a handheld. Um, let's click on this one. I might already clicked on this one before. Again, it tells you what model, but it does not tell you what SR112, uh, if it will work with the S12-112 model of um, Surecom Simplex Repeater. But nevertheless, you kind of get how to do this. It's kind of a tedious uh, way of doing things, but you get the idea. And I would always double check and email them. Once you find the cable part number, and what Surecom Simplex repeater you want to use, I would highly recommend you email them to confirm it. And then if they say it's 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 good to go, then go ahead and order what you need. So at any rate, I hope this video is helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. Please subscribe. Thank you and have a good day.